so you're looking down into one of my soap pots that is just starting to cook here. This is what we call the champagne bubbles. Actually, the start of the champagne bubbles stage. Um, it is the chemical reaction is releasing gases down in the pan. And if I don't stir this down, then it will bubble over eventually. And since I have six pots going all at once, I try to stay on top of keeping things stirred down. Otherwise, I would have six pots. Quite a mess. So I'm also trying to regulate the temperature on all six burners. I'm cooking on gas. We're going to let this, got one more pot that's about to go and we'll see what happens here. But I'm going to keep the camera trained on just this pot of soap through the whole cook so you can see what's going on. And this has been uh, just about seven minutes, I believe, and I'll double check the timestamp. Um, it's five or seven minutes since I incorporated the lye water with the oils. Since I'm making the same base in all the recipes, I'm using the same wood paddle. Oops. Probably need to drop there. The same wood paddle to stir all my pots. And I'm going to move over to my other stove top and see how we do it. different in hot press process versus cold process soap making is the amount of stirring or stick blending that you can do. In hot process, you want to keep all of these ingredients in contact with each other so chemically the soap molecules can start to form. So more stirring is better. 
Um, I only use the stick blender again after incorporating the lye water with the oils if I have any kind of separation. It just becomes too thick after a bit to use the stick blender. So I just remember to plug my microphone in guys um, I'll just walk you back through a couple of the steps in case this is a video on hot process soap making and this is on the cook so I do double boiler hot process and what you see now is a soap that has been actually it's not soap yet there is some soap molecules in there but it's still cooking um this is a pot with my base blend of oils mixed together that's when i use the stick blender to mix the diluted lye water into the oils and now we're into the champagne bubbles stage the soap is, as the molecules form, there's a gas released and the gas causes the soap to kind of billow up. It's kind of pretty how that does that, kind of volcanoes up. As long as you don't lose, um, lose contact with the pots, you don't have any problem. But if your attention gets diverted, that's not a good thing usually. Boil overs happen. Um, I haven't had a boil over in a long time. Again, I've been doing this for 22 years. Um, actually not hot process. I started out doing cold process and switched to hot process. But I've been doing it long enough that I can kind of tell what's going to happen in the pots as long as I keep an eye on the temperature, um, how fast the water is boiling in the double boiler, that kind of thing. Anyway, just stay tuned. I'll keep you posted here throughout what's happening. You can tell just in this area right now, I'm going to kind of let it bubble up a bit so you can see how that 
looks when the soap kind of volcanoes. It's and it's very much like lava. Um, as the soap on the top cools, it forms a crust, and the gases kind of break through that crust, that crusty look. I think you can see. Um, it, this uh, gases will break through that and cause this volcano effect. Um, I'm not sure if you can see real good on the sides, but the soap does require, um, if you want to keep everything incorporated, which you do, otherwise you'll have lye pockets. Uh, that's not a good thing. Um, everything's got to be kept stirred in. And I generally uh, tamp or wipe down the sides, scrape down the sides of the pots a couple times during the cook and a lot when I'm first making it so everything stays incorporated. I'm stirring down the other pots a lot more because I'm trying to let you see this um, the chemical reaction you can see a little bit of the oils separating on the top that'll reincorporate as I stir it back down and again this is just the oils and the lye in the water um, oils and butters, as the case may be. Um, I'm the shea butter soap lady, so of course I use shea butter and everything. Now you can see this volcanoing effect happening, and the soap is going to kind of rise up in the pot. And if you're on your phone, or you're on your computer, or you just get diverted by what's going on outside the window, you're going to end up with a mess. So this is know this is dangerous so keep your eyes on the soap pots and you'll keep a lot of accidents from happening and again please guys if you're new to soap making um, this is really hot plus you've got the chemical element in it um, if this gets on my skin it will burn um, a smart person would have their gloves on I have uh, safety glasses on right now uh, but I don't typically wear gloves. Um, I've got some in my drawer right beside here, but I, I have man hands. See, aren't they pretty? <laughs> so uh, gloves just, they hurt. Plus I've got this uh, finger with a broken knuckle bone. No gloves fit it unless they're, you know, extra large and then they're really sloppy. And I think that's almost less safe than just being really careful. So if you're new to soap making, again, get Susan Miller Cabbage's The Soap Maker's Companion. And every time you make soap, read her chapter on safety. And I do mean every single time. Not only read it, but hey, actually follow what it says. This is one of those times where um, don't be the guy that doesn't read the instructions because you will end up hurting yourself, um, damaging things in your kitchen. Um, so yeah, just be careful. I'm going to start to uh, stir this one down a bit. And isn't that kind of cool looking? It's like magic. I think the first time I made soap it was an all olive oil recipe an olive oil castile and it was very much like watching mother of pearl form the different stages the soap goes through so it was a lot of fun i was hooked from that first batch
Okay, so the soaps are, all of the pots, all six pots are roughly to about the same stage. And for me, this is when I start working over on my side counter and pouring out the additives that will go in the soap. So the essential and fragrance oils, any clays or oxides for color, uh, any add extra additives that would help exfoliate. So that's what I'm going to be doing off here on the side. But like a kid with toddlers, I have eyes in the back of my head. So I'll be coming back and forth uh, very often to stir down the pots and keep everything cooking like it should.